Hello, and a very merry 7-Eleven Christmas from Dollar or Less Food. Today we're trying something that's a little bit different because today's food was free. That's right, yeah, I went into 7-Eleven, had to get some stuff, and this man in there was being really nice. I was going to get some food. I was going to get a pizza and some hot dogs. There's a whole pizza box right there. And uh, I happened to get it all for free. The only thing I ended up paying for was my Mountain Dew Slurpee, which is the best flavor Slurpee. Don't even at me. And I've realized, I've reviewed pizza on this channel before, but I don't think I've ever reviewed the cheese pizza alone. Yeah, this pizza, it's just cheese, it's just crust and sauce. I've had the pepperoni before, and I think the meat lover, but I've never had just the cheese alone. I don't think we've even had the cheese alone. So you know what? This man knows what pizza tastes like from 7-Eleven, so I gotta tell you, is it good? Is it not? Do we care? I don't know. Hmm. All right, cheese. It's very thick. It's a very thick cheese. It's a thick boy. The sauce is subtle, but it has a very much of a canned tomato sauce taste. It does not taste like it's a fresh made sauce. It tastes like it's an industrial style sauce, to be honest. Which is not a big deal, because I don't like it. The crust... I like the crust, personally. The crust edge itself, not as much as the dough throughout the entire thing, but the crust is decent. And there's just something about this cheese taste. It's not like artificial cheese. It tastes like real cheese. But it has just enough mozzarella pool to it. Yeah, I sound like in a real Italian there, didn't I? For that, yeah, it's good. I will say, it is a little greasy, and it is filling me up pretty fast. But if I had to be honest, the worst part about this is the sauce. Usually I don't like pizza that doesn't have meat toppings on it, but this one does fine. So if I had to give it a rating, I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. That's right, an 8 out of 10. You should be flabbergasted. But I like the cheese. I like the crust. The sauce is a little sus. But other than that, it's really good. Happy Christmas from Dollar or Less Food. Hey guys, so as a little bit of a Christmas bonus, even though this is coming out after Christmas, I reviewed another video, I reviewed another product right before this, and it was just such a colossal fail that I decided to scrap it. But you know what I decided? It's Christmas. If you want to watch a, a bonus fail video, might as well do it. It's gonna be right at, it's gonna be right after I finish talking. Right about now. Hello and a very merry whatever day when you see this, or Christmas if you see it then. Welcome back to Dollar or Less Food, and today we just had the most amazing experience at the 7-Eleven. I went and got some gas, I went inside with my mask on to just take care of some stuff and uh, buy some stuff. And this dude decided he was going to be awesome, and he bought me a pizza. I'm not kidding you, I got a pizza, but we're not reviewing that, the dude was awesome. But today, we have these, whoopsie, Fudge Stripes Fully Fudge Cookies. These look like the fudge rounds that you usually have from Keebler. These ones are going to be covered in fudge entirely. These are two for a buck fifty or, or 79 cents each. Let's see how they taste. And again, if you're not watching this on Christmas, I'm assuming you're not, but I hope you had a good Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Here's what the cookies look like. We got a one, a two, a three, a four... What are we doing? Something's knocking on the door. Right here, right here. These cookies are just covered in fudge. Bye, Matt. See, it's all fun. That's the regular cookie. Like always, this chocolate has a bit of that weird synthetic -y taste a little bit, which we all know. But it's still sweet. Some dude next to me is wearing shorts and a jacket because it's raining here. For, the, for the Christmas, it's raining, but it's still warm. But yeah, cookies are right. I don't know what to say. This video is probably not even going to get posted because it's being kind of trash. So if I had to give these cookies a rating. All right. The chocolate fudge is good. I like that it's more fudge than normal. The cookie itself is plain. I had a great experience in the 7-Eleven, in the though. So I'm going to give them a solid 5 out of 10. All right, this has been Dollar Less Food, and this is going to be probably an exclusive content down the line because this video did not feel good.